Hello, uh, it's Oliver for Dragon Blogger here. Uh, we're reviewing the HyperX Ingenuity beta for the HyperX Steel Alloy keyboard. I believe it is for more than just the keyboard, but I am currently using the keyboard that they sent us. So let's launch the program. I will be teaching you how to use it as I've used it quite a bit lately and I've learned a lot more than I knew a bit ago. So currently you can change the colors to a more like I changed my colors to a more like a tropical type setting because I thought it looked prettier. But the uh there are presets, so I made my base preset the tropical colors, but you can go back to the presets and set them as your own. You can also add effects currently, uh confetti makes your keyboard like this. I believe you can only have one effect on at a time. So, if I add confetti, and then I add, um, you can make it darker, you can make it lighter, you can make it a lot faster, or you can make it slow and steady. Uh, I like to make it more, like, balanced to where it's, like, 70, around 70, um, I think it looks pretty cool how they made it in the systems. Um, you can add more than just one if I add a second one. Then it kind of overlaps. Makes them both look pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool overlapping. You can set the opacity. Yeah, it's pretty cool. See, there we go. We have the wave effect and we have... We have the sun and confetti effect. Um, now, if you just go to basic, like, breathing, you can make it, um, colored, like that. Uh, I believe you can make it rainbow. You just add a bunch of colors and set them to what you want to be. Okay. Um, but if you go back to... normal wave this is just the base wave um you can set each key key rotation so if i set this one all the way to let's say orange we set all these to yellow you can see the yellow difference happening on the keyboard So the keyboard looks a lot different now as there's a lot more purple and red you can just change around and mess around with these with them all like this you can actually change their colors entirely so if you want this one to be like green yellow red let's say you make this one that color this one this color this one this color this color, this color, and do this color. Then you make this one this color, this color, and let's say black. Cool. So now you can see as like the keys are going by, there's like a little bit of spots. I believe it's glitching out a bit. I'm not completely sure. Um, it's probably because they're really close together. Probably a lot because of that. So, you just squish these away from each other a little bit. It's not so squished. Okay, it's a little bit less squish, squish now. It has a little bit of a cool effect going on. And that's what we got going. So, if I just get rid of that... There's trigger effects, so you can add them, and uh, there's like flame effects, so let's say, now I tap a key, let's say H, yep, it goes like that, it's really cool, for some, like that, they go upwards, like in an upward spiral, so W, A, S, D, 
then it goes along the top of the keyboard where the LEDs are right here. Um, I think that's really cool how that's set up. Um, yeah, and you can make it like blue, blue flames, purple flames, blue, pink, yellow. Um, you can also have an effect on at the same time. Where like if you're doing that, and just it's not really that noticeable unless if you hide it, the opacity a little bit. There we go. And then you can see the main toggles. Um, currently, um, I'm going to remove these effect and the trigger. So here's the explosion. Explosion is just like goes across the whole keyboard explosion change the colors same as the other one uh just different effect fade i haven't actually tested this one out this is oh oh it's like a, just between like a couple of keys that's cool it's only the key that you press so you press that it's just gonna stay like that that's cool um you can make it really fast where it goes just like that or you can make it like slow where it stays for a while like I said, it's easier to have like a fat, like a speed normally, like 70, 80, because otherwise it's going to be too slow, and it might lag you out a bit. I have seen that this program is a little bit laggy, but it's pretty fine overall, and I haven't had much trouble, I haven't had any trouble with it. Um, so, there's also something called game mode. You can block your keys off. You can like make it to where if you're in a game, you can't alt F4, you can't alt tab, shift tab, plus tab, control escape. You can't like leave the game. So it makes it to where like to, it'll be easier for you. You can raise and lower the brightness and stuff. Uh, see here. The brightness a lot less. You can make it like pitch black. You can just lo lower it pretty, pretty significantly. Or you can just have it blazing with color. Um, I like lighter colors because it lights up like rooms typically, and that's pretty cool. Now you can do specific keys, and I thought this was a really cool feature. You can just select a key, like keyboard function, set A to. But yeah, you can select the assignments of your keys, stuff like that, like S. I'm gonna have S delete. Now, if I go back to that S, it uh, you can make it your function. Like you can make a your S key be your left click. I thought that was pretty cool. As well, I feel like it'd be fast. It could be like an auto clicker type dealio. There's a macro actually, which is pretty cool. So you can just like. Yep, there's a macro that tells you what you're doing, and I think that is really cool, because then you can just record what you're doing, and, um, repeats it. That's really cool. Um, there's not much else you can do. There's multimedia. You can hit the play. It's, it's the same, um, keys that you have on your keyboard. You should have those on your keyboard. I have it on the HyperX Steel Alloy currently, uh, but yeah, the functions on the mouse I don't have a mouse so I don't know what that does but uh, you can make s become your left click you make a key become your left click like let's say space you can make space be your left click so now you hit space that selects I thought that was pretty cool um so that is pretty much it for the Alloy and stuff like that. There's some memory support, startup. As you do a lot of settings, minimize taskbar. I I thought that was better. <clears throat> when it was minimized, and it doesn't really function well at all, and doesn't actually function at all if you have it closed, which I've noticed. Um, probably because you need the application open to run like all the commands and stuff. But uh, yes, you can do different languages. 
Yep. But that is pretty much it, guys. Thank you all for watching this video, and hope we have some new stuff for you soon. Goodbye.